Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight I have another brand new ship for you guys to take a look at. No, it's not the G the German Tier 7 cruiser, but we're finally taking our look at the Tier 4 British battleship. And that would be the Iron Duke. <laughs> now, you guys already know, if you've been watching the channel for any amount of time, I am not a fan of these British battleships. They just don't offer anything that's any good. They are the worst in every single category, pretty much. But that being said, maybe I've been too harsh. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. These are all valid points. <laughs> I've never claimed to be the best, ever. And I will never claim to be the best because I'm clearly not. My win rate is like 60%. It's decent, but, you know, I'm right there just like I've always said. Slightly above average. <laughs> but on YouTube, I get the, uh, the fun of being able to select what I put on YouTube because, you know, I try to make videos that you guys would like to watch, which is videos that I would like to watch personally which are just fun videos for one reason or another, and this one is not going to be an exception. As much as I hate these things, and I'm going to go over some of the reasons, and let's just start with, they're not fast early on, but then again, most battleship classes aren't fast early on. Once you get to the higher tiers, 6 and 7, then you start to pick up some speed. Otherwise, you're probably going to be around the 19 to 20... or 20 not... 20 not. Not kilometers. I keep thinking of kilometers per hour. We're in ships. It's knots. So, it's it's on point with that. I, I haven't actually tested the full speed of this thing because I haven't played enough battles in it to, like, get a good feel for it. But, I get so frustrated by this thing because it is so incredibly obnoxious that being said this ship can take a beating that's the that's the high point this particular British battleship can take a beating as long as you're not a moron don't get me wrong I've been a moron on more than one occasion <laughs> but but we are in a domination match, and I hate losing this cap right off the bat because I'm right here and I would love to defend it, but I know that I'm going to get torped if I go up in there for a couple reasons. These British battleships cannot turn, and when I say they cannot turn, they can't turn. They just flat out can't turn. You go full hard to port or hard to starboard, and it'll take an hour and a half to, to start turning, and then it takes literally like four nautical miles to turn this ship around <laughs> it's ridiculous but that being said it also has another disadvantage that i can't stand and that is that the turrets are the worst rotating turrets in this game i believe <laughs> i have yet to find a set of turrets that rotate slower than this Br this british battleship it is awful to, to rotate 90 degrees takes something along the lines of 30 seconds. That's insanity! Now, I'm sure if you built a uh, specific build to help your turret rotation, it would be better. But I ain't doing that. Like, I shouldn't have to do that. None of the other battleships are that bad. The other battleships take, what, like 45 seconds to rotate the 270 degrees or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, from one one side of the ship to the other side of the ship. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe my hate is clouding my judgment. Okay, maybe that's the problem. That being said, that V, whatever, German destroyer, destroyer took out our cruiser right off the bat. Because he was an idiot. Now, I don't normally say that. Uh, and I understand, maybe I should hold my judgment, because this is low tiers, I'm not in top tier, so maybe a guy just doesn't know yet. But he just learned a valuable lesson, hopefully. If he, if he learned it, I hope he learned. So he parks himself on the edge of the island, a destroyer comes rolling out, sends torps. Obviously, a destroyer never just rushes out for no reason. They're shooting torpedoes at you. 
Take evasive maneuvers. Use your hydroacoustic to see the torpedoes coming. <laughs> Get out of the way. <sighs> but yes, okay. So I was a little rushed to judgment. The guy is his tier four. There's a good chance he just didn't know any better. So that's on me. I apologize to whoever that was in the cruiser that got nuked by the torpedoes. There's a good chance that he just doesn't know. So I apologize. That being said, we managed to take out the German destroyer, and this Wyoming sails into the picture. Now, the Wyoming in its own right is not a particular, gr particularly great battleship, but when you look at what it's up against, it's pretty formidable. That being said, I believe our guns are bigger than his, which is the one thing that early British battleships have as an advantage, as that Wyoming just found out with armor piercing. I'm not the typical British battleship guy that spams high explosive all the time. I understand that the armor-piercing rounds of the British battleships aren't the greatest. They detonate too early tend, and tend to not make it into the Citadel to just decimate people. That being said, they still are very, very good at getting penetration hits and doing very good standard damage. And a lot of it. <laughs> as this Wyoming is starting to find out. Now, I know there's a cruiser on the back side of that island to my left, which is why I just looked over. I want to make sure that I'm turning towards this Wyoming, keeping the majority of my armor facing him, because like I said, this thing can take a hit. And the Wyoming, I believe, has 357 millimeter guns? Or is it 305? I think it's 305 millimeter guns. Somebody's going to have to correct me. I'm not a big stats guy. You guys know this. I'm the entertaining guy. I, I try to be. Anyway, I'm not necessarily always entertaining. But, you know, I try. <laughs> as best I can. Uh, but anyway, so the Wyoming is sailing directly away from me. And this is perfect for me because this gives me a nice flat backside to shoot at. And I'm angle, or I'm shooting into the side slash back because I want as many rounds to hit the ship as possible. So I'm not shooting directly into the back, even though this next salvo is definitely going to be straight into the backside. And that's some good dispersion, and down he goes. But watch how I end up attacking this Iron Duke, because I have an Iron Duke shooting at me, which is the exact same thing I'm in. I go ahead, I use my heal. We managed to lose very little health to that Wyoming. And now we have to turn all the way around to get our guns to bear. Because it's quicker to turn my ship around than it is to get my guns on the other side of the ship. That's how bad this is. <laughs> okay? So I would rather turn my ship all the way around than to try to get these guns to rotate 270 degrees to the other side of the ship. And so now we have a broadside shot at an Iron Duke, and he has a broadside shot at an Iron Duke. I managed to slow down a little bit, but he hits the front of my ship with a couple nice penetrations. And I honestly got robbed, because he ain't even moving, he ain't doing anything to avoid it, he just sitting there taking it, and I managed to miss most of my shots. We're already over 50,000 damage, now he's sailing in reverse, we've got an Omaha about to pop out, and my god, Omaha. Of all of the ships to pop out broadside to, your British battleship... I'm not overpinning! Wait for it! Pow! <laughs> Deletion! Good night! Sweetheart, enjoy Davy Jones' locker. So, again, British battleships have terrible armor piercing, but the reason they're terrible is because against heavily armored targets, they don't penetrate far enough before they explode. They have a short fuse. They penetrate and they explode, and they don't do citadel hits in this game very well. Now, later on, I hear it gets better, but early on, for the most part, it is pretty horrendous against other battleships to try to get citadels. But you can get lots and lots of good penetrations because you're not overpinning. And cruisers... And destroyers, destroyers you're still probably overpinning, but cruisers, you do not want to be broadside in front of this ship. You will be deleted just like the Omaha was a few seconds ago. It's just not worth it. <laughs> if there's a British battleship, now if he's shooting HE and you know he's shooting HE over and over again, then take your chances. But if he loads AP 
and your broadside in a lightly armored cruiser, it's gonna be a paddling. Because this thing has, I believe, now again, I could be completely wrong and I apologize if I am, but I believe it has the largest battleship guns in its class, or in its tier. I believe the, um, I could be wrong. I, 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 sh I shouldn't say stuff like that because I just don't know right off the top of my head. I'm not one of those guys that, that knows all that. So I'll just, I'll leave that at that. So take that with a grain of salt. But it has really big guns. And even though they're not touted for their, their armor piercing capabilities, if you're in a cruiser, that short fuse will decimate your life because they're not going to overpin. They're just not. They'll detonate before they get through the ship. <laughs> and it ends badly. Ask the Omaha. But that being said, we managed to pull almost 100,000 damage, getting a devastating strike and a high caliber on a British battleship at Tier 4. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.